Hello, good afternoon. Um, it is cold out. <laughs> uh, so I want to pop on here and talk about consistency today because I've seen actually a lot of things about consistency lately. It must be just something in the air. Um, and first of all, I do want to say that consistency is important. So if you're working on your book and you're sitting down every day, every week, you know, whenever it is that you're planning out your writing time, it is absolutely so important to be consistent. Um, make sure that you are getting in front of your computer and actually typing, you know, make sure that you are working on your book, working towards that goal, that you are making sure that, you know, everything is falling into place. Be consistent, absolutely. However, I also want to say that consistency isn't everything. So what do I mean by that? Um, I mean, you can sit down every single day and do the same thing and work toward that goal, you know, every time that you sit down. But if you don't have some sort of a plan, if you don't have some reason to keep going, um, there are a lot of things that make a difference about the consistency. So your consistency is actually leading toward the goal and not just, you know, wasting time, keeping you busy. Um, you know, just keeping you sitting there. Uh, because even if you are consistent, I know you can sit down at your desk and just stare at the screen. Trust me, I've been there. I've written a lot of books and it happens. Um, you can be consistent in your writing time, but still not be making progress in your book. You can actually be, um, you know, sitting down and trying to figure out something that isn't really getting you anywhere. Um, you could be you know, consistent about, I'm going to get to get to my desk, I'm going to do this. And then every single time you do it, you get interrupted and you end up not actually doing what you need to do. So let's talk a little bit about what goes with this consistency. And that is a plan because the plan is the most important thing, right? Because if you don't have this plan, you're not actually going to get toward the goal any further than you were before you were consistent. So when you are going to be consistent. Make sure that you know who your audience is. Make sure you know who you're talking to. You don't want to sit down and be working on a book and actually not focus on that audience. Um, you know, make sure that you're super clear about who you're helping with this book, because if you aren't doing that, you're not actually going to make any progress in your book. And then when you send it to me for editing, I'm going to say, Hey, it looks like you're writing to two different people here. Um, you know, who are we actually talking to? And that's a pain in the butt because then you have to go back through the book and change a bunch of stuff. And I don't want you to do that because I have been there before. So let me tell you a little bit about the first time I sat down to write a book. Um, you might have heard about this before, but this is absolutely picture perfect why consistency isn't the biggest thing um, for making it towards the goal. So uh, when I was in grad school, I got this great idea to write a book, and yes, it was a fantasy book. It's not nonfiction, but the idea still applies here. So I had this brilliant idea. I wanted to write about this little girl and her friends and how they, um, they went into the ice cream shop and went down into a magical world, and they found these people there. And that was kind of all I had. So I sat down one night, um, I, think I was in college and didn't have a lot to do on the weekend. Um, so I sat down and I wrote like clear through the night. I wrote until like three in the morning or something, it crashed out on my bed, woke up the next day and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I started writing a book. Yeah, I started writing a book, but it wasn't going anywhere. So I had to actually stop at that point and go, okay, well, what do I want to happen? Um, what do I want them to do? What's the point of this? Who's going to read this? Um, and that's when I started looking at all these things that I teach people now in business books, because I don't want you to get partway into a book and then crash. I don't want you to get super excited about it and then have no idea where you're going. So having that roadmap is essential. So after I, you know, ran into that wall, um, I stopped and I started looking at these things. You know, what can I do to actually make progress towards the end of that book? What can I do to actually create a book that's going to make sense? And I kind of had it. So as I worked on this book, I had a good story. 
um, you know, I eventually figured it out, but then I had to like go back and put other things in like, oh, I should have mentioned this in chapter four. Oh, I should have put this in in chapter seven. Oh my goodness, if they're going to do this here, then I've got to talk about that back here. So when you're working on your book, you'll be doing the same thing if you don't have a plan, if you don't have it all laid out ahead of time, because you're going to say, um, you know, this is something that I work with my clients on and here are the, here are the different steps. Um, oh, and then you get to chapter five and go, ah, I should have talked about this too because they need to know this before they get to chapter five. So then you'll be going back and sticking stuff in and um, I will tell you up front that isn't always the best idea because then the writing doesn't flow. So as you're working on it, you know, you're flowing from one topic to the next, but if you're jumping back and forth, then it's not going to be nearly as smooth. Um, so yeah, as you're writing your book, make sure you've got that plan in place. Make sure that you figured out everything you need to do all the way through the book writing process because it can be a bumpy road if you don't have a plan. Um, I, trust me, <laughs> I've written books without a plan before. Uh, when I wrote um, Spark Method though, which is coming out in January, tip it here, get the light right, um, yeah, it's coming out in January. This is going to be the second edition of my book. This one includes the uh, foreword by Darius Chisholm, which I'm very excited that she contributed to my book. And uh, when I worked on that, I didn't sit down and just start writing. Um, and I know that a lot of people who are writers will say, oh, just write. If you want to be a writer, just write. If you want to have a book, just write. And I don't completely agree with that advice. I believe that you need to plan. If you plan it out, then you can feel comfortable just writing. You can feel comfortable sitting down and knowing exactly what you're gonna talk about. And you don't have to stop in the middle of your writing and go, oh, what was I doing? What was I saying? Where was I going? Um, and you have to go back and reread something. So add that to your consistency. If consistency is something that you've been working on, that's awesome, but pull back for a minute and make sure you have a plan, you know what you're doing, and you're gonna get all the way through the process a lot easier. So I hope everybody has a great day, and if you have comments about consistency, if you've been you know, working on that, comment below, I wanna to talk to you guys. And I will talk to you later.